Salutations and good morrow everyone and welcome back to another Grounded Update video where today we're hopping in and we are looking at all of the locations for all 36 hidden scabbies in the game that bring you all the way to 40 scabbies in total. So if you guys do not know where the locations and these are, this video should be able to help you guys out. If I do happen to miss any that have new recently been added to the game, I would like for you guys to let me know in a comment down below. That way I can pin it, that way people will never miss any of them. But before we go on and we show out any of the locations of scabbies, make sure you guys subscribe today and turn your bell notification to all so you never miss any grounded updates because only one third of you guys who watch these videos are actually subscribed but let's hop in let's run around and let's find some scabbies okay so the first one we're going to talk about is the puncho uh scabby now this one is right on top of this giant puncho box that's right here and you might be thinking to yourself well how do you get up there uh some people like to use um these grass blades you can kind of parkour your way up here with grass blades uh it's a little bit difficult to do um but completely possible and you could do that the other way that you could do it is you can actually use um, like clover rubes and stuff to get up places now before we go any further now that we've shown off one scabby location I do just want to point out that I am doing this on um, creative mode that way I can just kind of spawn in things that I need just so I could focus on showing you guys around where everything is and I don't have to worry about being attacked by everything okay the next one we're going to go for is the aerobic scabby it's on top of that lamp over there so we're going to get to running and we are going to get all the way over there so let's giddy up and go so this little path that I'm following, you do not need to follow this path. Uh, this path that I'm doing right now is how I'm doing it. Um, but by all means, you can just go out and get whatever ones that you need to get on your own and not follow this path if you already have a bunch of other ones. Okay, so to get up there, the easiest way is to climb up over here. Climb up on top of these sticks and then uh, climb up to the uh, lamp post up there. But you'll notice you actually need to get on the top. Oops, of course I fell down. You'll need to get on the top of the lamp in order to actually get yourself uh, the scabby. And you might be saying, well, how do you do that? Well, it's actually kind of easy to do. You can either use... Um, well, now that they've added a couple things, you can either use the uh, clover roof pieces, the slanted clover roof pieces like these to get up there and just build your way up there. You can use bounce webs or you can use acorn spiral stairs, which I kind of prefer the acorn spiral stairs at this point just because um, they just recently got added to the game and they look really cool. And also, you know, I like to make myself dizzy while I run around in the game. Just do that. That should be high enough. And then all you do is you just run up and oop, it was not high enough and now I fell down. All right, then once you're up here, you just run right here and it is right there on top of the lamppost. So then you get the aerobic scabby. Okay, the next one we're going for is the bugged um, scabby. Now, I do not advise jumping off of here unless you have a dandelion tuft. But if once you do jump out of there, you can run down into the abandoned ant hill, and it's actually down here. Um, hidden at the end of it. So let's just run all the way there. Run over here. Be caution that there is normally some soldier ants in here. So if you haven't already, they probably will try to bite your toes. Um, so just go ahead and fight those off. Uh, they're not too hard to kill. So, and there it is, the bugged scabby. The thing about this one is when you actually go to equip it, it doesn't really do anything. It just turns the whole thing white. So it's just kind of blah. So don't, don't, I don't really like that scabby. Um, as for moving on, the next one we're going to go for is we're going to go for the Chubbs series scabby. Now, this one is a little bit more difficult to get because you actually have to dive underwater. Um, so the best way to get this one is by having a uh, breath tube, but you don't really need that if you just, um, oh, I can't jump while I'm talking. Apparently you don't really need that. Uh, if you have um, a lamp because you can just go down and get it and go right back out now a slime mold lamp might help you with this or an underwater lantern I should say would help with getting this one but if you have yourself a firefly headlamp it's normally pretty quick that you could get it okay I'm gonna run over to the, the area and I will meet you guys there Okay guys, so here we are at the location of where the tunnel down to get coup de grass is. The tunnel is right here. If you guys are wondering, it's right here on the map underneath this little outpost, okay? And all you do is you look for this overturned leaf. That's how you know you're in the right spot. You dive into the water and swim down, and it's easy to miss if you're not looking for it, and it's easier to see if it's dark, but you'll actually swim past it probably the first time and not realize that you didn't grab it. So 
when you're focused on swimming under here in order to get coup de grass, you'll keep swimming and keep swimming and then you'll go up this way and you'll go to get coup de grass, right? Which is the uh, perk you get by standing right here. But when you swim back, you'll notice it's actually kind of hard to miss because it's actually lit up kind of in your face. So see, there it is right there. So you just go ahead and grab that guy and then you have yourself your Chubbus series scabby. And that one doesn't look too bad, um, but I will actually go through and show you guys all of them at the end of the video. That way everybody can see all the scabby colors if you're just looking to see which scabby color you'd like the most. So you know which one you want to get. Just skip to the end of the video. The last like minute of the video will have it. Okay, so the next we're going after is the girth scape scabby and that should be right over here okay and that one is underneath the girth head okay you'll know because it's a giant head oh, yoked guys, girth head look. and it's when you run back under here yoked girth action figure there it is well some of them anyway so that is the girth scape scabby okay the next one we're going to go to is the graystone stab scabby now this one is going to require you to be on your jumping game something fierce because you actually have to climb to the top of one of the lasers and the one that you have to climb to the top of is the far laser that is over there so we're going to run over there right now and we are going to, and i'm going to show you guys how to climb up to the top of the laser so on we go Okay, just a quick note while I'm here, just so you guys know, that is the laser we're wanting to climb up on top of. It is the one that is in the direction of the um, shed that's over there. The one that's there's another scabby on top of is this laser that's over here. We'll talk about that one next. But for now, we're going to focus on this laser in the direction of the shed so we're gonna run over there and i'm gonna show you guys how to climb up so once you're here you want to look around at the legs and you want to find the leg that's over here by the rock okay then what you want to do is you want to climb up on top of this uh plant right here all of these leaves and the way that the sticks are set up is set up for you to climb up on top of this thing so just be very careful jumping around. It is a jumping puzzle to get up there and get it. You'll see that I'm very bad at jumping puzzles, um, but sooner or later, I will actually make it up here. There we go. One more, turn around, get up here. And I think it's getting over here now. There we go. And I fell down. So you want to be careful because this one is actually pretty easy. I would suggest a dandelion tuft for this one because it is really easy to fall down. It's not easy in a sense of accomplishment like you're going to get it done without a problem. Uh, it is quite difficult unless you're really good at jumping puzzles. If you're really good at jumping puzzles, you probably won't have a problem with this at all. But me, I am very bad at jumping puzzles. So I'm going to keep falling down repeatedly until I finally figure out uh, how to get up there. All right. There. There we go now we're starting to cook with grease or fire or what have you jump maybe work your way over this way a little bit get up on top of this leaf up a little bit higher and what you're looking to do actually is you're looking to get on top of this little black knob that's right here this is the knob for the camera you want to try to get up here it's easier if you can get up there but you can actually get up there from here um, but I'm gonna go for the easy pull and to get over here on these leaves and then make the jump um, because I just I don't trust myself so let me just run up here give it a good old jump give it a good old jump and you'll see now it's pretty easy mode to jump up on top of this knob now be very careful running across right over here jumping up here and then right there on top of the laser is the gray stone uh, scabby now the problem is with the one that we have to do that's all the way over here is you actually have to build your way all the way up there in order to get there there isn't anything in the game that allows you to get that high in the air so i'm going to run over there and i'm just going to build myself a spiral staircase all the way up there i know that would be a lot of materials for you guys so i would suggest either a bounce web elevator or by using um, the uh, slanted roofing pieces that you make out of clover. So I'm going to run over to that um, laser right now. And then we are going to use some 
uh, spiral staircases to get us all the way up there. So here we are on top of this northern laser. Okay, and you will see that I built my giant spiral staircase. This is the most expensive scabby in the game to get when it comes to building wise. It will take you the most amount of time to get this one just because of the sheer amount of building it's going to take you in order to get this scabby unless you're playing on creative like I am. But this one is kind of a pain in the butt to get. But once you have those ones, the next one we're going over to is we're actually going to go over to Spade Gulch, which is that area right there that has the giant spade on it. So this is where we're going to go. We're going to run all the way over here. And there is actually a larva cave over here by Sk uh, Spade Gulch. And Spade Gulch's larva cave has the gun metal uh, scabby in it that we are looking for. So what you do is you run over here and you're looking for these acorns. These acorns obviously need to be broken down, so you just use a hammer to do such. Now, with this one, a word of caution for you is that this will literally be full of larva. So you want to be very careful when you're coming in here because the larva will attack you. There's going to be a lot of them in here. But all you do is walk down that tunnel, turn, walk down this tunnel, and you'll actually dive underwater. Once you dive underwater, you'll be able to see the scabby pretty much plain as day when you come around the corner. And there it is. There is the gunmetal scabby. Now, there is a lab and stuff underneath here that you can look into if you want to. But we're focusing on scabbies for today. So, out we go. The next one we are going to go for is the Might Rider scabby. Now, a lot of people run right past this one. Uh, they don't even realize it is where it is. It's actually in the Might Cave that you need to go in in order to bash the mites off of the laser in order to activate. It. If you did miss this scabby, that's okay, but you are going to need a hammer in order to get at it because there is quartzite blocking it, and that is probably why you missed it. So, I'm going to run over there now, and I'll meet you there. Okay, so here we are at the laser. Normally, there are mites that are attacking this laser when you first come over here, and you'll have to run down into their tunnel. Once you run down into their tunnel, running around this corner, what you will find is you will find a couple things of quartzite right here okay they are blocking you you have to use your hammer to break through the quartzite and as soon as you're through both pieces of quartzite pick it up because you're gonna need it to repair things but once you're through you walk back in here and then back in this back little area that's over here is a scabby for you to find called the Might Rider Scabby. There is actually a lot of quartzite in here. You cannot get out that way or get in that way, so don't try. Uh, but there is a bunch of quartzite in here that you can pick up, and it will be helpful for later on in the game. Okay, the next one that we are going for is called the Laser Corp Scabby. Now, this Laser Corp Scabby is hidden by a paint bucket. If you guys know the paint bucket I'm talking about, it's the one that's right by the porch over here. Uh, now, a lot of people, when they first found this scabby and they first were looking for it it was floating in the air that has since been fixed so it's no longer floating in there it's just on the north side of the paint bucket so running over there you can grab it really quick and it's going to be an easy find for you because it is kind of easy to spot now um, so as soon as you come around this corner you will see it right there on the ground and you just grab that guy there's the laser corp scabby this next one is even easier to find it's in a place that I like to call the mushroom forest. It's where you go if you want to get literally a crap load of mushrooms. Uh, every few days it spawns 100 mushrooms in this spot. So all you gotta do, run over this way till you see all these mushrooms, okay? Turn in here, pick up all these mushrooms because you're gonna need all that food. And while you're in here, just run around to this back corner and there is the scabby V1.2. All right, so the last one that we're going to run over to in the centralized area. So what I've been showing you guys so far is all the scabbies that are in this area. That's right here. The last one we're going to run into is over here under on top of this rock. OK, this is actually uh, on. It's actually underneath the rock in the spider cave, and it's called the syndrome uh, scabby. So we're going to run over there right now, and then we're actually going to grab the flying V scabby that is on top of the rock shortly after that. So let's run over there right now. But what I want to do on my way over there is I just want to give you a word of caution about going and getting this scabby is that this scabby is protected by a wolf spider okay and it is very very hard to kill him because it's in a short and confined area so I would suggest bringing gas arrows with you in order to take care of this spider but on the way we are going to make a really quick pit stop by running up over here and running on top of the giant boulder so we can grab the flying V scabby that is on top of it but 
What I will warn you about this scabby as well is that if you run to top of here and you are to get this scabby, there is normally two to four bombardier beetles that are in this area. So be careful because bombardier beetles are kind of a pain in the butt. But you can run through, grab it, and then literally just jump off here and use your dandelion tuft to sink yourself down nice and easy. Now, there's two ways to get in for this scabby. You can either go in this way, which you can see is full of webs, or you could go in through this top area. This top area, you have to drop down multiple times into some water and you will find it, but I'm gonna do the easy way and I'm gonna walk into the front entrance. So, what you do is you walk in right here, try not to get caught in spider webs. Uh, odds are you'll get caught in one or two, so just use your weapon that you have to get yourself out. Keep on running down, get caught in a couple more spider webs just for fun. Now, like I said, there is going to be wolf spiders in here that are going to be going after you the whole time. So just be warned that if you're getting caught in these webs right now, you're also going to have a wolf spider that is hunting you. So just be warned about that. But you come over here, jump into the water, and then right down here, you can see we have... Oop, come on, dive, Pete, dive. Dive, Pete, dive. Let me go into first person so it's a little bit easier for me to grab it. You have the syndrome scabby. Okay. So, uh, guys, let me know down in the comments if you guys missed any of these scabbies. I would like to know if you guys missed any of them, and I actually did help you out by pointing out one that you did not know was there before. Now, come on, Pete, get out of here. We have even more scabbies to find, my friends. Okay, we are now working into what I would consider to be the western backyard. Um, what this contains is places like the Ant Hill and the uh, walking steps over here in Stone Step Mountain uh, and all of that. So the first one that we're actually going to go after is the Ant Hill Scabby. So this is actually called the Neo Mauve Scabby or Neo Mauve or Neo Mwave or however you pronounce it. I don't know, but that's the Scabby that we're after. Caution, there will be a crap load of ants in here if you come in here. So bringing some ant gear any torch would be more um, of a better option than going after the gear that I'm currently using um, to run around in here but I'm doing this just for show so what you're gonna do is you're gonna come down you're gonna take an immediate left and what you're looking for is a little outcropped area so I'm gonna just keep on running and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about mm -mm 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 -mm. Okay, so this is how you know you're in the right spot. So first off, if you came down here and you fell through this hole, that's a good thing. Okay, if not, you just follow the path that I did. That's okay as well, because what you do is you come in here, you could go down under this water. Okay, there's going to be raw science in here for you. So just go ahead and pick up that raw science because that's going to come in handy too. Okay, you run over uh, this direction right over here. You have to excuse me, it's been quite a while since I've gotten this one, so I'm just a little rusty at grabbing it. And then it should be right down in this chamber and right there. So, if you guys are wondering, like, what is all around you, if you run over here, there should be a big doorway, a big entranceway in here. There's normally a bunch of ant eggs through here. So what you're looking for is if you're in this room with the three uh, entrances and you're looking at where the rotten bee face mask is, you have one, two, three entrances. You're looking for number two. You're looking for this one here, the one that's dark. That one's kind of lit up a little bit. There's an ant egg right there. You can run off that way. You want to go down that one. Okay, now I'm going to use this path right here to run back out of the ant hill. Where we're going to move on to the sad stab scabby, which is actually hidden underneath a cassette tape in the backyard. So we're going to just run out of here really quick, and then we will go and grab that one. Onwards to victory. Okay, so how you get over to this cassette tape is actually super easy. As soon as you leave the ant hill, which is literally right there, you just turn west and you run straight west from the ant hill and you will come upon this cassette tape player. And then once you run right underneath it, here is your sad stab scabby and you guys can grab that one. I know a lot of people who really like that layout, so I would suggest you guys go and pick that one up. Okay, so the next one that we're going to be running after right now is called the scabby 3.9. 
9. Okay, it is one of the more advanced scabbies that's back here, version 3.9. Um, it doesn't do anything for you by having it other than bragging rights, really. Um, but we're going to run over here and show you guys right where it is. It's in between three rocks, and it's fairly easy to miss if you're not looking for it. But it's on a little stick. So you just run over here. And how you'll know you're in the right spot is because you'll find three rocks all put together. One, two, three. And then you'll be able to jump down here and grab it off a stick. Be careful. Sometimes there's a wolf spider that's walking around over here, especially right underneath this rock. There is normally a sleeping wolf spider right here. So be careful um, when running through here so you don't get surprised by that. Now, the next one that we're going to go grab is another easy one to miss because a lot of people don't realize that this drain is here. But we're actually going to hop into this water right here and go down this drain. This drain is how you get to the sewage scabby. Okay, so you swim underneath the water, on out, and then there is a little tiny skeleton in here, and there is your sewage scabby right there. All right, and the last one that is in the what I would consider to be the western end of the backyard is the Frankenline scabby. And you guessed it, it is on top of the Frankenline. A lot of people don't go get that one just because they don't climb um, this little stepping stone mountain in order to get to it. But I'm going to do that today just so I can show you guys where it is and how you can grab it. So let's run up over here. And you're going to get up on top of this rock wall, and then you are going to literally run that way and then jump on top of the Franken line. So I'm going to run across these rocks right now and jump over there. On my way there, I would like to invite all of you guys to remind you to hit the like button for the video. Thank you so much. Okay, let's get over here now on top of the on top of the Franken line. You'll know you're in the right part if you see this nice purple mohawk that's over here. Mm -mm 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 Okay, and here you are. You just jump up on top of it, and then it's right around on the front, and you grab it. The Frankenline Scabby. All right, so the next ones that we are actually going to be looking into are the Pond Scabby. So all the ones that are going to be in this area, and then after we're done there, we are going to go over into the Hedge area. So if you guys feel like, you may have gotten um, all of the different parts that are over in the Pond Scabby, which is actually eight different Scabbies. If you think that you've gotten all eight of them, then you can skip forward to the Hedge part. If not, then follow me, and I will show you where they all are. So the first one we're going to start with is obviously the worst Scabby in the game that, I, in my opinion, is the Hot Dog Horror Scabby. Now, this one is super, super easy to get, and 99.9% .9 of players have this scabby um, because they happen to find it while they are just running around. And it is inside of that root beer can that's right there. So you just run up, jump inside, and you will see it. It is bright red and yellow and very vibrant and in your face and very aggressive for the eyes. So we'll run in there, we'll grab it, and then we'll move on to our next scabby. Shout out to Mr. Edgar, my mod, who loves this scabby. It's his favorite. He it's it, he thinks it's the best thing in the world. But yeah, the Calvo yes, clan I can. can you run in here? Inside his can. Yes, you can, Pete. There you go. Billy Hot Dog Horror. Or Billy Hot or Billy Hog Horror. It used to be called the Hot Dog Horror. Apparently they changed it to the Billy Hog Horror. But anyway, moving on, we are going to run over here to the Panfish Scabby. This one's pretty easy to spot too because it's just sitting out on a root that is in the uh, water. So we're just going to run over here really quick and grab that one. Okay. So, if you look, it's right there on the root. If you just run straight along these rocks, jump onto this one, you will see that it is right here on the root. I'm just going to come up here. It's kind of a pain in the butt to get out of the water to grab this one. But if you do it right, you get yourself your panfish scabby. All right. Now, the next one we have to get, this one is a very rare scabby. A lot of people don't find it because they don't know that this tunnel is there. And it's kind of hard to get to. It is called the Shine Bright Scabby. Okay, this is probably, if I'm guessing a scabby that you're missing, it is probably this one. So... Uh, what you need to do is you need to get inside of the lab and jump out of it So I'm gonna get inside of the lab now, and then I will meet you guys back over here Okay, so once you are inside of the door, you're going to run down this direction You are going to go through here and you are going to either pick that up or enter the code that you need to enter in order to unlock the door so I'm going to push and push, and then next thing you know, you pull the lever, open that up, caution, there will be tased T's that are in here that wants to get you. 
You'll help burgle up because you're a nice person or you'll run right past him and jump down in this water. Now, a lot of people don't realize that there is a small tunnel that is right here. It is very dangerous to swim down in here because you need a rebreather in order to make it all the way. But through swimming through here, going all the way down the distance that you can you will pop out in this little root area and turning off over here you will notice that there is a scabby that is right here this is the shine bright scabby and it is very rare and a lot of people do not get this one okay now what i'm going to do is i am going to keep swimming this way if i don't get myself stuck underneath a root come on swim up over this way you can grab yourself a rotten slime lantern if you would like, or if you just keep swimming on further, you will notice that you will end up in the pond. But like I said, do not try to get this scabby without some sort of rebreather or without the bubble helmet, because if you do not have it, you will probably die. Because there is a long, long, long way of swimming that you have to do in order to get out right here which you are now going to be swimming through even further because now you're still underneath the tree and you need to get out into the actual pond. All right, well, once you are back out in the pond, the next thing you need to do is find your way into the lower pond where we are going to go get our next scabbies. Now, um, if I was smart, I would have equipped a pair of flippers, so this was a little bit quicker for you guys. Um, but what we're going to do is we're just going to swim over there right now, and we are going to go down. So you want to go into the lower part of the pond, down where the little T-Rex head is, okay? And then once you get into the lower part of the pond, what you're looking for is you're going to go right underneath the base so I'm gonna swim over there now we are gonna go through the entrance that is right over there where those bubbles are coming up and we are going to swim down past the t-rex past the treasure chest and past all of that other stuff that is currently down here that way we can get our next scabby hello mr. t-rex all right so we're going over this way and I'm gonna show you guys where it is when we get over by the base Okay guys, so we know that this is the pond lab area, right? And you'll see that you have the entrance that's right there. Once again, don't do this without a rebreather, but you come down here and it's actually hidden down in all of this gunk right there. Now that we're getting close, you can see it, but underneath this little metal tab, you should be able to grab this scabby. So I'm gonna go into first person mode, grab it, and you have found yourself the muck scabby. The next one we're gonna go for is actually my least favorite scabby in the game, uh, even more than hot the Billy Dog Horror, or Hot Dog Horror as it used to be known by, um, and that is the Ghost uh, Mint scabby, or the Frostbite scabby, I'm sorry, the Frostbite scabby. The Frostbite scabby, this one, uh, you need to be careful with this uh, little fan that's right there because it'll push you back so it's kind of a little bit of a pain in the butt to get but we're gonna swim up over here all right so once you happen to get past all of that annoyance you just swim up right over here and you go over here and you would normally go down in that area in order to flip the beaker well if you just go this way you could go right here and grab yourself your frostbite scabby it is big it is bright and i will leave it on just to show you guys how much i don't like it here just so everybody can see it there we go nice and bright there we go that's what everybody wants to see right all right let's go on down this way the next one that we're going to be going after is actually called the ginger spice scabby okay this one reminds me a little bit more of like the christmas holidays so it's pretty good um, and it's easy. It's another one that's easy to miss if you're not looking for it uh, Because once you get down in the area that you're going to be going uh, You're tending to look to get out of the water and not so much looking for a scabby So you enter the base like you normally would Okay, you would go and flip your breakers after you activate this switch that's right up over here So you'd come over here Activate this switch and flip your breakers Okay You'd come over here. After you activate the breakers, this door will open up. We're just going to go like this. So that way we don't have to do that today. Okay. There we are. And then you're going to run over this way. You're going to run through this door. And you'll see that you have a sunken part of the lab right here. Not this part of the lab. There's a sunken part of the lab that's right over here. So you'll run this way. 
past all of this good stuff and you're going to run down into this mucky water area here. Now you're going to want to be in first person mode for this one because it's really hard to notice. So for this one, you're going to need a shovel. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get myself a shovel here really quick. You guys will notice this is the area I just swam through. I was showing you guys the wrong area. You fall in through here. You go through, you swim up this way. Okay. And then you go over this direction. Now, what a lot of people miss is that there's actually some clay down here that you can dig out. And once you dig this clay out of the way, which I'm going to get this guy out of the way now, it's going to take me just a second. But once it's out of the way, you should be able to swim through here and actually grab yourself your next scabby. So I'm going to get this one and then we are going to get out of the water. So here we go. There we are. Grab the ginger spice scabby. Then we're going to swim over this direction. Go up go over here and then we are going to exit the water abruptly so that way we can at one you would activate um to unlock the doors in here and two boop 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 you'd mash keys and then you'd be able to get around to get to the next scabby that's back here Okay, so for this next scabby, what you're wanting to do is you're going to want to run through here uh, inside of the larger base and get into the dome room. Okay, once you're in the dome room, you want to run around the outside of the lab and you'll see on a shelf right here, you will grab yourself your shallows scabby. Okay, with that shallow scabby, uh, that, oh god, that one's still so bright. Um, that one is going to give you all of the scabbies that are inside of the pond base. So then the next thing you're going to want to do is you're just going to want to get the heck out of here. So what we're going to do now is we're going to swim down over here. We're going to get out of here and we are going to go to the last scabby that is in the game as soon as this opens up and it is in a pond outpost. So here we go. Okay, guys, for this last scabby that is in the pond, okay, this one's a little bit more difficult to get to as well because you will need to go very deep and very dark underwater. So what you'll do is you will leave this little area that is right under here and you will swim this way off into the dark, okay, without a light source or your helmet. This is very easy to miss. So be careful when coming over to get this one because odds are you've probably already missed it once or twice. In fact, myself, when recording this have missed this entrance once or twice and i'm trying to make it just a little bit more smooth for you guys so what you're looking for is this little entrance that's right here this observatory door will open up when you get close enough to it okay is it gonna hit me in the face again it is not perfect and then you're gonna swim up right here and you'll notice you are now out of water and you are gonna get into an area that has a scabby that is right here okay this is the holodazzle scabby okay and you enter into this little lab area and the cool thing about this is that there's a button right here that opens up this door that gives you an easy access point to get back out right over here to get out into the pond and there you go bada bing bada boom you are now swimming back out you're over by the pond the wedding ring is right there and you can get yourself out and you now have all of the scabbies that are currently hidden in the pond area now what i'm going to do is i'm going to get make it daytime again and then we're going to run over and deal with the last of the scabbies in the game that are over in the hedge area all right here we are by the hedge now before we go running into the hedge there is one scabby that is over here that you do not enter the hedge in order to get and that is the cyber strike scabby that is actually on top of this outlet now in the early game it was a lot easier to get this scabby because you used to be able to just run up this power cord and jump right up onto the good old uh outlet top that's right there you can no longer do that so i have come up with an easier way to do this you can either climb the leaves that are right over here in order to get up there or you could go ahead and grab yourself once again those slanted clover roofs that are right here that stack up on top of each other okay and you just want to start building and you just build one at a time all the way up to the top as long as you don't be like me and do dumb things like jump off of the obvious route that you're trying to build up on there you go sim now you have to climb all the way back up again All right, so once here, once again, you're just gonna come and you are going to build roof pieces like this, slowly increasing your height to the point where you are high enough to where you feel comfortable jumping off onto the outlet. 
Once you're on top of the outlet, it's as simple as just running up to the top and grabbing yourself a scabby. And there you are. Now, technically, like I said, you could climb through all of the tree, all the leaves that are over here, because there is technically leaves that lead all the way up over here. Okay, you can go ahead and climb them all. Here you go. Here's the general path of the area that you're going to be going through. Okay. There you go. This is this is the general leaf path that you're going to follow. Okay? And then you move off this way and you climb over there. But that is enough about the Cyber Strike Scabby. The next one we're going to go on to is the Witchy Scabby. Now, the Witchy Scabby is kind of a pain in the butt to get because it's up on top of a branch that's not that easy to get to. Um, but if you follow this little guy, you should be able to get to it. So start by running up here and we're going to get up to the top by the outpost. Okay, guys. So here we are up on top of the... Uh, the hedge area over by this puncho box now what i'm going to show you guys here is probably the most annoying scabby in the game to get just because of the soul jumping puzzle itself where you're trying to get is actually on top of that branch right there that is how you're getting it you need to get all the way up there in order to actually get it so i'm going to be doing an attempt here um, but what I can do is I can zip up there in just a moment to show you guys what I'm talking about with where it actually is. So I'm going to try to do this jumping puzzle and fail horribly. There we go. Let's get back over here and give it a try again. Now, you'll see that some of these are kind of lined up a little bit to help you out. Uh, not really a whole lot of them. It's still going to be a huge pain in the neck for you to actually get up here and get this scabby. But you guys can see it right there a little bit. I'm going to jump over on this side now. Try not to die. There we go. Getting up here. Now you want to try to get on this leaf. That's really important. Okay. Once you're up here, up on top of these leaves up on top of this leaf to get up on top of that leaf oh don't die up here and then what you'll finally do is you'll run and jump over on top of these now this scabby is a huge pain in the butt to get but there you go that is how you get to the witchy scabby and then you climb back down this way in order to run on to get the next scabby that we're looking for let me get rid of this really quick. Let me get rid of this guy here. We'll just go back to classic for right now. Oh God, now my eyes aren't bleeding. Okay, the next one we're gonna do is we're gonna go grab the bug juice scabby. Now, this is my favorite scabby in the game. It is the best looking one to me. Um, because I do really like the neon look of it, plus the dark on neon um, uh, uh, contrast that it has so the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to try to get over this direction now you can do it one of two ways you can either climb up here and do it that way or you can follow the path like you're supposed to and run down over this direction so you're going to run over here down onto some mushrooms okay running over this direction jumping up here jumping over here and then once you get up to this area that's right here this is where you're going to find it it is right inside of this broken beaker and there is the bug juice scabby okay the next ones that we are going to be going on to is we're going to make it over to the frisbee so we need to run this way a little bit more and we are going to get um, onto the frisbee because we are going to get the next scabby and this scabby is called the supreme scabby now the supreme scabby is really blatantly obvious if you ever make it over this direction uh where it is um the eagle light amongst you will find it already there it is right there so this is the supreme scabby we got that one okay the next area we're actually going to go to is we actually have to backtrack a little bit because the next one we're going to is actually on the bird bath and you will know that the way that you went right here if you go this way this is not the way to the bird bath so i'm going to take myself over to the bird bath and then i will meet you guys up on top of it okay so you just come over this way and you jump off and there you go you're on top of the bird bath now in order to get the scabby that's in here you just run up and literally go into the water and right down underneath this one you'll find the hedge berry scabby okay now there used to be another scabby that was right here on top of this leaf it has since been moved that is the textbook scabby okay that one had got moved and that is actually now 
deep down in that pond right there and that's the last one we are going to be going and getting because of how much of a pain in the butt it is to find so but following on we are going to actually climb up into here and we are going to get into the hedge base to find the rest of the scabbies that are up over inside of the hedge base so the next one we are after is we are actually looking for the ghostman scabby as promised, here we are inside of the hedge base. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to log into this machine. It's going to say invalid password. It's going to open up this door. Opening up this door, it's going to lead to this little cavern. There's going to be some spider silk here that you need to beat off with some sort of weapon. And then you're going to make your way over this way. Now, I hope you're ready to sacrifice something because you do need to sacrifice something in order to get over here. So I'm going to sacrifice my shovel, make sure that I don't miss, and I'm going to huck my shovel at that berry to get it out of the way. I'm going to zip on down this way off into this lower section and then right around this corner you guys can already see it here is the ghost mint scabby now there is another uh, scabby called the fright scabby that is around the entrance but what I'm going to do first is I'm going to jump down here because I'm going to go grab my good friend Mike Lowry's favorite scabby in the game and that is the legend scabby it is very bright yellow and he does enjoy it but it's a little bit of a pain to get because it's also another one of those ones that is just stuck inside of a pop can so we just got to run over and grab it it's inside of that pop can that's right down over there so i'm just going to zip over there really quick and grab it for you guys Okay, as promised, inside of the Fizzam can, right down here, underneath this blip of soda that you need to drink down, is the Legend Scabby, my good friend Mike Lowry's favorite. So, we are going to run back over here, we're going to get back over to the base, and I'm going to show you guys how to get the Fright Scabby, and then we're going to go back up into the hedge base, and we are going to get the... Um, last one which is up in the observation pod which is scab version 2.11 and then we will finally finish it all out by going and getting the textbook scabby for the fright scabby to say that it's kind of a pain in the butt to get is also another one of those understatements uh, it's actually up on top of a branch that you got to be pretty good at parkouring around in order to get to so you got to go up over this direction uh, crouch down and try not to fall like I just did over here. You can use the leaves to get yourself back up there, but it is easier if you just um, don't fall off in the first place and just make your, your climb or fall to the ground like I just did. All right, so you guys can see that I built a really strange contraption here, right here to get this final scabby, uh, the fright scabby. In order to get it, um, you kind of have to build your way up here or you could kind of fall your way there from another place. But I found just doing this really simple build technique is a really easy way to actually get up here to get to this scabby. Um, you just build up right here. You run across, jump up over here. Caution of this leaf, it will push you off. So just be careful when you're going around there. Just take it nice and slow. And then right here at the end of the branch is the Fright Scabby. Now, there is a reason why I did uh, my layout like this, why I kind of ran all over like this, because the scabbies that are here are kind of so spread out so strangely that a lot of the times getting to them is kind of a pain in the butt and finding a certain pathway that's going to lead you around to all of them uh, can be a little bit of a pain. So I just kind of went to show you guys that really, no matter which direction you fall in here, uh, you can find your way to all the scabbies. The last scabby that's in the hedge outpost is actually going to be in what I call the hedge observatory. So I'm going to take this zip line all the way across um, to here. That way I could take it back down across this way so we can get to the outpost. The outpost is kind of a little bit of a hidden away area that if you haven't been over there before, you might have missed it. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump up on top of this branch that's here. You're going to run this way and follow it around. Okay, to this little branch that's here. Now be careful when you're doing this because if you fall, you're not going to get back up. As I was saying, you run up right over here, jump up on top of this branch, and if you look, you're actually going to be leading yourself up right over here to this little observatory. This little observatory is going to open up. Be careful that this door does not hit you. If this door hits you, you're going down. So do not let that door hit you. Jump right in there and grab your scabby V.2.11. Absolutely wonderful. We're going to wait for this door to open back up again, which you got to do. You got to back all the way up in here and then run back towards it again and it will actually open up. Now, the last scabby that I was telling you guys about is the textbook scabby. The textbook scabby is kind of a pain in the butt to find, but you got to come all the way down here 
into this mucky, muddy area that's down here that is normally covered in fireflies and covered in mosquitoes and covered in any other sort of things that want to get you. But really what you're looking for is to enter in this area right here, dive underwater, and once you get to a deep point in the water, it's actually going to be sitting on a crumpled up leaf that's in the bottom of the water. So swim down. And as you're swimming around in here, you will see it way, way, way down here. And the only way to spot it is when it's bright enough at day in order to see it. So I'm going to go back up. I'm going to build myself a little bed so that way we can sleep until morning and then we will swim back down and grab this final scabby. Good morning. Here we go. And we are going to run off right over here. What you're looking for is the area between this little island area that's right there and this can. So swim over here towards these leaves that are all torn up right here and then dive down underwater. And you will see it is right here underneath this leaf by a giant rock. And this will give us our last of our 36 scabbies or if you're counting the original scabbies that we have, the 40 scabbies. So we're going to swim up right over here and then we are going to open up our inventory and we are going to take a peek at all of them. So here we are in OS, you have the classic. You have your nighttime scabby, which is our normal scabby that uh, you get to have at night. High contrast, if you prefer that, it's very purple and I like it. LCD, hurts my eyes and I don't like it. The punch out, the first one that we found, very purple and blue. Aerobics, looks good. The bugged scabby, which is very white and blue and brown. Chub series, which I like that it has this purple glow around the outside of it. Gertscape, very, very um, red and blood less flavored. Uh, Greystone, this one is just very, very gray. Don't forget, this is the one we found on top of the laser. Hyper Blaster on top of the other laser. Kind of reminds me of Buzz Lightyear. Uh, Gunmetal, my good friend Colt's favorite uh, scabby flavor in the game. Might Rider, okay, this is the one that's inside the Might Cave. Laser Corp, very blue and pink. Scabby version 1.2, which is very greenish. Flying V. Syndrome. Neo Moave, which is inside of the Ant Hill. The Sad Stad Scab, which is, or Scabby, which is right underneath the cassette tape. Scabby 3.09. The Sewage Scabby, which is very green. The Frankenline, which has the same colors as the Frankenline machine. This is that uh, hot dog horror one I was telling you about, or the Billy Hog horror. That's what they call it now. Panfish, very yellow and gold, kind of goldfishy flavored. Shine Bright, which is the scab that most of you are probably missing, which is a very nice blue. Muck, which is going to be like a off yellowish brownish color. Frostbite, which hurts my eyes again. Ginger Spice, which like I said, was a lot like kind of Christmassy-ish. If you look at everything, it's kind of browns and reds and stuff like that. It does kind of give you like a gingerbread cookie feel. Shallows. Holodazzle, once again, another one that's very Christmassy, very red and green. Okay. Cyber Strike, which is very, very bright as well. Uh, my gamma isn't up, by the way. Uh, Witchly. So that's the one that you had to do all the jumping in the beginning that was a big pain in the butt. Bug Juice, my favorite, which is a very dark with overlaid neon on it, which is why I enjoy it so much. Supreme, the Hedgeberry, Ghost Mint, Legend, which is very yellow, which this is my good friend Mike Lowry's favorite scabby. Fright, which is very black and orange, probably my second favorite scabby, just because it looks really good. I like the contrast of it, and also it's got a good Halloween feel to it. Scabby version 2.11, and also finally, textbook. And that is all 40 scabbies found throughout the time in this video. Guys, I appreciate all of you guys who watched all the way through this video. If you guys liked it, make sure you guys hit the like button. Leave me a comment down below of what your favorite scabby is because I would love to know. This video took me a while to make, so I hope that you guys enjoyed it. And as always, I'll see all of you guys in the next one.